Before getting into the problem, let's go over some basics about subtracting negatives. Looking at a basic number line, let's remember that if we start off with negative 10 and we were to subtract 5, we would go negative 11, negative 12, negative 13, negative 14, end up at negative 15. So this is going to show up a lot in absolute value problems. Now, let's look at an actual problem. So we have absolute value of x plus 5 equals 18. We want to set up two equations. One should be positive, one should be negative, and then we just solve. Minus 5, x equals 13, minus 5, x equals negative 23. And those are our two solutions.